Hello there, so by the end of this video, I'll be teaching you how to make this particular design you see on my screen and look, I actually am so impressed with this design because it wasn't just a matter of picking one um, photo and just slapping some few elements to them. Every single thing you saw are different elements we are going to fuse together and I'm going to teach you how you can do this. So we are going to be adding so many elements and we'll also do some color grading attached to it. So if you are interested in learning this, I would encourage you to stay to the end of this video. Without any further ado, let's jump straight into Canva and let's get started. Hey everyone, Benjamin here, a verified Canva expert based in Ghana. If this is your first time on this channel, look, I think you should subscribe to this channel because I'm so committed in coming up with tutorials that help you to improve on your Canva skills and so that you can attract the clients you want and also impress them with your designs. And if you're an OG, a massive respect to you, I really, really appreciate you for your continued support. So I think it's time for us to jump into Canva and let's get started. All right, so this is what we are going to be doing. And the first thing I'll just do is to click on add a new page. So with this, the dimension are using a 1080 by 1350 you can go for any dimension at all you want but just make sure you are able to follow whatever i'm doing and the color code let me just fetch it for you so i'll just come into color and i'll just click on this plus icon and the color code is 1d4901 so just make sure you are using the same color but this doesn't mean you should stick to this color if you want to go with other colors just make sure you are going with the color you can actually work with okay because of the type of design we are going to be making all right so the first thing i'll do is to come into photos which i'm already in photos and i will go into recently used so in recently used you can search for plantation with green crops growing in agricultural farm okay so you can just search for maybe plantation you can search for maybe farm i think i searched for farm and i got this particular photo okay so yeah so i'll just select it and i will bring it over here maybe something like this okay then the first thing we are going to do is to click on edit photo and if you're on the free version of canva i have a link in the description box below that can help you to start using canva proof for free today so just check it out and just do all that is needed so you can be able to follow along with this video okay so yeah now you can see what i've done i have the background removed because i didn't like the cloud i want a brighter cloud so i would come into photos okay and i'll just search for cloud so we would see canva has a lot of clouds over here but let me make it clouds i think this is when we can get a lot of variety so we have this one here i will send it to the back and this is how it's looking at the moment maybe i just drop it down a little bit okay so this is what we've done the next thing we are going to do is to work on this image a little bit so i'll crop it this way press l on your keyboard for a line okay Okay, and let me just zoom in okay so we have this line over here then come into the line style and we'll increase the width a little bit okay so i have it to 16 make sure you are increasing the length of it so press and hold shift while you increase the size okay and i will come into position and center it so this is what we have at the moment so you can change the color to any color of your choice i'm going to use this yellow color we have over here because it's matching with you know the grass we have here now the next thing we are going to do is to come into um, element or you can just go into photo okay and what we are going to do is to search for tractor okay so in tractor we are going to get so many tractors over here so just make sure you are choosing any of the options that works with you or that suits you all right so i'll just come in here or i can just basically go into my recently used images okay and i will just pick the tractor i use so this is what i used then i just come into edit photo and remove the background as well so you can see it's been removed quickly now this is one of the tricks i would reduce the size okay and just make sure that the size is looking realistic okay and the aim is that we want the whole design or whatever we are doing at the um top section of our design to look as if it was a photograph that was taken you get it so that's the aim so when you are increasing the size or adjusting the size of your tractor just make sure it's working perfectly or it's looking good okay so let me come back all right oh my goodness so let me just turn off this notification to so turn off all right so i'll increase the size and usually the top of it should cross the horizon okay it should cross the horizon because the horizon is far off so if the item is closer it might look like it's taller than the horizon so we just have that in mind okay all right so i will just position it somewhere here 
okay which is looking okay then what i'll do is i would come into my uploads and you would have to go to the elements.theafricangeeks.com and search for shadow you would find a black shadow i'm going to use so just take your time you would see what i'm going to look for 24 hours later so this is the shadow we are using and you can see how we have it over here so i just place them where the tie are or no first of all you know just bring it down here duplicate it several times okay because we want to make sure everything is working beautifully so you select all and you use ctrl g to group okay then we can just bring it here and it should be behind the tractor okay so you can see what we have at the moment then we can add another copy of it so that it blurs out the tie okay so that everything can look the way it's looking so i will duplicate this and position this here and i will do the same for what we have over here so i'll duplicate this one as well the duplicates okay all the ones we did we duplicated them a lot and grouped them then i would also place it here but it should go behind okay now duplicate it as well and i'll position it here okay then i would send it to the back okay then i would um the one on top i'll just duplicate and place it on top of the tie just like that okay so just make sure we are not going to mess up with the photo i'll just come into so i'll just right click on the photo and come to lock okay so i'll lock it and with what we have behind okay that one wouldn't be touch so i want to select all of these shapes okay except the tractor and i would maybe work with the transparency a little bit okay if you can see we have one of the images behind um also affected by if you can see one of the images behind have been affected by the transparency so i would have to first of all unlock so now that we have this what we are going to do is we are going to be adding some extra element like we did over here okay so press r on your keyboard okay for a shape and i'll just zoom in over here and this is what we are going to do we're just going to make sure the are looking very nice so I'll, I'll place it here come into the color first of all and change the color to white and come into the rounding okay or the border style and increase the rounding to somewhere like 14 should be fine okay then what we'll do is we'll just duplicate this okay so i will duplicate it position it over here and duplicate and duplicate it again i think we have four yeah so four should be fine then select all of it and make sure you are centering them all right so this is very nice then what we are going to now do is we are going to move into element and search for you know some element that has to do with agriculture and stuff like that depending on what you want to have on your design so there are some few ones i use i will fetch them and i will also show you the description you can use to find them okay or the keywords you can use to find them okay so i'll come into element in element i'll just go to you know the recently used and see all and this one has to do with vegetable agricultural plant so you can select it and um, there are a number of them old farm logo and all that so i'll select it put it here i think i select a factory for this okay and i'll just select it bring it here and there's also this plant okay so you can search for plant bring it here and you can also search for raindrops or water drops okay Okay, so you can select that and also bring it here so these are the elements we have at the moment so we just arrange them nicely over here okay so i will just crop this nicely position this here okay and i would maybe arrange this nicely here now center it okay then the water can be here i would reduce the size and make sure i'm centering it and this can also be here the size can be reduced so you can see what we have at the moment and let's try to center this as well and make the size smaller all right so we are going to change the colors of all this so i select this come into color and change it to the green do it for all of these you know other elements so change the color to green just so they are all looking um consistent okay because we are working with a specific type of color so yeah this is what we have at the moment and the next thing we'll do is to add you know some text to describe what they are referring so i'll press t on my keyboard and you should also press t on your keyboard for text okay and we are just going to reduce this and um it's just a matter of you typing your text but what i'm going to do is i'm just going to copy the text i use from the initial design and paste them here because i can't think right now are you playing what type of plane is this okay so lovely javli so you can see we have it over here and i now just have to arrange them nicely okay just make sure everything is centered and yeah this is with it and i'll select everything and i'll just you know center it more okay so i make sure everything is centered and it's all looking beautiful so you can see how this is looking at the moment okay okay so what we are going to do next is we just have to add our text also at the bottom and as usual i'm just going to copy and paste because it's just a matter of you adding your text and all that Are you so 
you can pause this video or you can see what i'm going to do then you can pause the video and also add your text it's very easy and it's very simple all right so you can see what we have done very easy we didn't even spend too much time doing that so i think one thing i want to do i want to pull all of this down a little bit so i'll pull it down okay and i can select everything no i'll just select everything from here just like this make sure i'm deselecting this and i'll pull it down as well okay lovely and i can also do the same for this so i can select it deselect these elements okay so maybe i can just copy the farmland okay right click and lock it okay lock then i select the clouds right click and come to lock and lock okay then i can select all of this and i can increase the size more to something like that so you can see what we have been able to do nice one so we want to be able to add you know some border style or whatever something nice at the bottom there so what i did was i came into element and i searched for farmhouse and i got this nice silhouette okay so i just added it and this is what i did i just reduced the size okay duplicate it and position it here duplicate 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 so you can see what we have at the moment then you can use ctrl g select all of them first and use control you to um, group all of it just so they are just one element but the thing is you need to customize the color so choose any of them come to color and change the color i'm using this bdff03 okay for it and i'm just going to use it for all of it and you have to do it individually because sometimes when you try doing change or it changes the element of so many things in there and you wouldn't want that to be happening to your design okay so this is what we have at the moment beautiful beautiful lovely now this is what i'm going to do i'm going to press t on my keyboard okay to add my main text over here so i can just see what did i even see afro seed agro business okay so we just see the same thing agro no afro seed okay then we make it very big okay so make it bigger 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 <laughs> oh my goodness okay then we come to the um, font type yeah then we change the font type to this okay or the typeface rather to this okay because we want it to be very bold and we'll duplicate it and we'll say afro seed agro business so a g r o b u s i n e s s then we reduce the size to something like this and just stretch it out okay and do the small reduce the size more and position it here okay so you can see what we have at the moment we are going to change the color so come to color you can choose any of the greens we have already and just move it to the lighter side so you get something like this so f or ffd7 is the color code you should be using okay then after you do that come into element in element click on shadow and in the shadow color okay you're going to make it black okay and this is what we are going to do increase the blurriness and reduce the offset okay so you use the offset and you should have something like this so after you do this okay just make sure your text is looking beautiful right then now we are going to do some beautiful thing you'd love so come into element okay in element just search for tree and you should see something like this then increase the size of the tree okay and position it somewhere behind okay then you can just bring it to the front okay then you can have multiple trees as you'd love okay so you can also bring this here you can reduce the size a little bit and you know somewhere here you know but this should be smaller just so it looks realistic okay but you can see what we have at the moment so if you want the tree to be very close then means you have to increase the size so it looks real okay but i don't want it like that i just want it to be where it was okay so now this is what we are going to do we are going to be doing some color grading okay and uh, this should be very easy and very simple so i would come first of all choose my grass okay and it's locked so i'll just have to unlock it come to edit photo and come to adjust and adjust you just have to work with the temperature and the tint and what one thing i realized is the more you move the temperature to the left or right the tint the color of the tint also gets to you know change or i guess to adjust to fit the temperature so we'll move this more to you know the right which is 36 and the tint are moving more you know to the left okay then we can do the same on this tractor okay so i move moving more just so everything is blending nice one and i move the tint you know over here okay okay so this is nice then what we can do is with the black okay with the car ties and all of that or the tractor ties i'll increase the blacks okay so that it fuses well with what we have over here then um yeah i think that's cool then with the tree we'll do the same for the tree just so it's blending okay so i will move it here and i'll also move it here and i'm just going to right click copy style and paste it on the extra tree we added which is making it look beautiful right so now we can also do the same for the cloud behind it's locked so i'll unlock it come into edit photo and we are going to do the same for red okay so 
I would move it and adjust it like that. And you can see this is looking very beautiful. And this is how I was able to create this inside of Canva. So just in case any client comes to you and they are asking you of any design, I think now you can be able to take so many elements, fuse them together to come up with something special. And yes, there are two things I want you to do just in case you are still on the free version of Canva. I have a Canva pro link below. My templates, the link can be found below. You can also join my WhatsApp community. All the links can be found in the description box below. The name is Benjamin and always remember there is no limit to creativity and I should see you in my next video. Peace out. Yeah, I started on a 50 mil lens. Now I'm about to bag 50 mil yen. I can shoot all day. I got stamina. Turtleneck on with my camera. Yeah, stay creamy, man. That's what they say. Shoes late.